Hi, I'm Dr. Brain. My name is really Crystal Dilworth, and I have a PhD in neuroscience, but we thought it would be catchier to call me Dr. Brain. So, I'm Dr. Brain! And I'm gonna tell you things about your brain, my brain, and everybody's brains. Today, we're talking softball. Did you know that it takes a professional pitcher less time to send a ball your way than you can even think? The softball, coming from the pitcher's mound at 100 miles an hour, would get to us before we could even do anything. So how does anybody hit a ball? Is it just luck? Nope, it's science. Our brains are amazing at recognizing patterns and remembering them. When a pitcher pitches, it doesn't just pick up on the position and the path of the ball, it's also looking at the motion and the position of the pitcher. It can then take all this information and compare it to times when pitchers have moved and looked just that way. It'll use that to make a prediction about the speed and path of the ball and tell you to swing at its best guess of where it will be. So the next time somebody tells you to keep your eye on the ball, remember, focus is good, but accurately interpreting context, even better. Science. So what happens when you do get hit? Before you know what you feel, signals have to go from your body to the spinal cord, which then relays them to the brain and tells you, you're in pain. Have you ever noticed that when it hurts, you rub the place that you're injured? That's because the spinal cord has to relay the touch information just as well as the pain information. When both signals get to the brain, in order to process both, the brain turns down the volume on the pain signal and you start to feel better. So we can exploit this little brain quirk to trick it into helping us feel better. Science. 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 What about the fans? Why do they get so emotional? When we watch sports, the team feels like our family. The individual players become like our brothers and our sisters. Our brains take threats to our family or our community very seriously. Our brain can respond by creating the heightened emotion and physical state that evolved to help us respond to threat. By activating the sympathetic nervous system, what you know as fight or flight response, so running away or fighting for your team becomes the only thing that matters. So remember that, the next time you see a group of sports fans losing their cool, you'll know that they feel like they're fighting for their lives. See you next time on Dr. Brain.